If all the people that I go to church with had any doubts that I have schizophrenia, I think those doubts can finally be put to rest. I don't know if that's the way that I intend to like educate people about this. Because people get really defensive, you know, like when you try to explain your experience and they've been trained by the modern world, especially if they live in a Western society, you know, they've been trained by the modern world to view certain things like schizophrenia as bad and dangerous, which is precisely why I talk about it the way that I do. I'm trying to destigmatize this illness and I'm not saying that, that everybody that has this is healthy, okay? There are plenty of people that cannot take care of themselves. But mark my words, folks, medication is not the solution. When you say that some people need medication, that's essentially saying that some people should be treated by Nazis. Some people should be regarded with no respect for their humanity, okay? That's such an ignorant statement. Now we forgive you for making the statement because you really don't know any better, okay? You can't help it. You're of the world, you know? You tend to be terrified of people like me. But you know, once they realize that I'm not gonna kill them and I took a shower yesterday they tend to change their tune about it. But of course, they're all quick to, to jump to the conclusion that, oh no, well, I don't have schizophrenia. No, I need to stop calling myself that. No, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't understand my experience. I don't understand how I wake up every single day. If you don't live in my house and you don't hear all the yelling, then you don't get to tell me what my experience is. I mean, it's just so infuriating, really. And I have to internalize that. Because if I don't internalize that, then I'm just going to be the stigma. I'm going to be the stereotype. You know what I mean? It's like I talk to a lot of black people that, you know, they have issues with, like, people typecasting them. But if they overreact, then they're going to, like, be that crazy black man. You know? And I get that, man. I really get that. Obviously not from like the racial perspective, but like I, I get what that feels like. But don't worry, weed makes it all better, right? I mean, you wonder why people that are stigmatized smoke weed. It's because it helps us live in this shit world. It helps us like, just get over these things. You know, if, if I hadn't smoked so much weed, I probably would have committed suicide. And I'm not like suggesting that people just do that, but everybody's gotta do what's right for them. It's wrong to assume that what's right for you is right for somebody else. A lot of people, they feel more comfortable if they do something that doesn't make logical sense, like get, go get boosted, okay? There's no point in me trying to educate them. There's no point in me trying to tell them what they ought to do. Like, it's not gonna work anyway. They're still, they're still gonna do what they wanna do. Now, I realize that this is like, somewhat of a slippery slope because you feel like you're like participating in somebody else's sin. But I feel like the more you insist that it's a sin or the more that you insist that those people are wrong, the more they're going to dig in their heels because that's human nature. People that understand human nature tend to understand the nature of this world. Which is why when all this stuff happened with COVID and the lockdowns and the masks and everything, I was not the slightest bit surprised. People that expect 
so much from this country and so much from Western civilization. And they think that America is like the beacon of hope and the beacon of light and all that bullshit, you know? Those were the ones that were most disheartened by all this. I, I hear that from a lot of people in the military. That they just had no idea how corrupt the government was until they started working for them. And you wonder why they kill themselves. People that kill themselves tend to know the truth. And it's everybody else that does know the truth. You kind of sort of wish they would think about it just a little bit more, you know? <laughs> Is that wrong? Is that wrong for me to have these thoughts? I don't think so. But I still ask God to forgive me for having those thoughts because I don't want to feel that way towards my fellow man all because they just don't know. And if you don't know, you don't know. But if you know, you know. Right? I can stay in here all day. I really could. <laughs> These uh, people I go to church with, like they're having this like massive festival at their house. Um, I'm out in Summertown, which was formerly a hippie commune. It's uh, way out there in the boonies. It's beautiful though, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. A simple life just makes way more sense. 